Let's practice some conditional formatting here in Excel 2013. So we have a list of students and their grades and the idea of conditional formatting is that it draws attention to certain data based on a certain condition being met and this can save you time especially if your list of information is very long. So for the sake of simplicity let's work with this data. I'm going to highlight all the grades, go to conditional formatting and choose highlight cell rules. I want to just really take pay attention to values that are less than less than 50. So I'll type in 50 and you can see already we see the values that are less than 50 are light red. However, we can even change this to custom format. Let's go to fill and let's make the fill color uh, yellow and let's make our font bold. We can even choose a border. So if I choose a border that has an, an outline and click on OK and OK, you can see that we applied multiple formatting to these values. Now the nice thing about conditional formatting, and you can tell if someone actually did use conditional formatting, is if the, the value 44 now is changed to 84 and you press enter, this range of data has conditional formatting applied to it, but now that the condition is no longer being met, it is no longer formatted. If I change the value to 36, enter, you can see that uh, the, these values actually automatically get formatted. This is what the conditional formatting is about. Now let me try highlighting this information here and go to conditional formatting. You can even choose color scales. So if I choose the first option, automatically you see that uh, the green represents larger numbers and the uh, red represents lower numbers and you can play with other things as well. We can even go to conditional formatting, clear rules, so we can clear rules from, from these selected cells or the entire sheet. So let's go to conditional formatting, try something else. Let's try data bars, so if you like the color blue you can visually see how big these values are. This almost reminds me of spark lines or spark, spark uh, charts. Let's press Ctrl Z to undo and let's try one more thing here, icons. If you like these cute little wireless bars or even these uh, traffic lights, it kind of shows uh, where uh, students uh, fall. The green lights representing higher grades and red lights representing lower grades. So congratulations, you now have a flavor for conditional formatting. It can lead to a lot of uh, possibilities in terms of seeing information, visualizing it a bit better.